Hi, I'm Sahana and I used to hate my hair. I've always said it's too curly to be straight, but too straight to be curly, so this really weird in-between meant that my hair was super frizzy and unpresentable. So I discovered this method using a rolled up t-shirt. I've been doing this for 7 years, it's the only way I can style my bangs, and my hair has never looked better or been healthier. Like Sahana, my hair is in that weird in-between state where it's like kind of wavy, kind of straight, I don't know. I've also dyed my hair a lot of times. So we are gonna try the t-shirt method. I'm gonna use these hair ties to keep it in its rolled shape. And then to make the donut shape, I'm gonna use my scrunchie and make the donut. Boom, the everything bagel. So once you have your bagel donut, comb out your hair, set the donut on top of your head, and then spray your hair with water. Spray water, preferably not on the face. Then take a section of hair and wrap it around the donut until you run out of hair. Then grab another section and continue the process. How do I look? <laughs> We're gonna see in eight hours if this actually works. See you then. We are going to unravel the bagel donut or donut bagel, whatever you wanna call it. Okay, all right, here we go. It's kind of tangled for me. Oh no, I think I did it wrong. I look like George Washington. Would I do this again? Probably not because I felt really uncomfortable <laughs> sleeping. But yeah, I think if I had longer hair, it would have been better. So this is the final hair. I just kind of like combed through the ends and like put oil on it so that it doesn't get super frizzy, but it is still kind of frizzy. But I think they've loosened up a little bit. You know, I can live with this. We are doing sock curls today. Sock curls are pretty simple. Fix the sock to your head, grab a section of hair, and then wrap it once around your sock. Then add another section of hair to what you already have and continue the process. Let's see what it looks like. I think I like this better than the t-shirt curls. I don't know, it just has a little bit more body. The curl looks a little more consistent. The curls definitely loosened throughout the day and made my hair voluminous and bouncy. It was also way more comfortable sleeping in these versus the t-shirt curls, in my opinion. I'm gonna be trying these spiral reformers for my hair. I have no idea how this is gonna work. So I filmed this at midnight and it was not making any sense, so voiceover Jan is taking over for now. The rollers came with this giant needle and you insert this into the roller. Hook a small section of hair with the needle and then pull until the hair is in the roller. Oh, but I don't want it to curl inward. I want it to curl outward. <laughs> ah, there we go. After a couple of tries, I was able to get the hang of it, but there were definitely times when I was trying to pull a thicker section and the needle would break or my hair would get too tangled. Why is it tangled? <sighs> but I would just start over with a smaller section of hair and it would work. I think it took like around 20, 25 minutes. I thought it would take an hour, but here we are. I look like Shirley Temple. You know, I'm into it. I'm gonna film the back because I forgot to do that. Let's get these babies off. Whoa, I'm shocked. Whoa. Okay, we're gonna shake it up. Honestly, it worked. I mean, this is not the kind of hairstyle that I would typically go for, but I mean, can't say that it didn't work. After really loosening up the curls, I loved how this turned out. I also didn't have a hard time sleeping in these, so that's a huge plus. I love that the curls are super bouncy and soft, and I even did a photo shoot and my hair looked bomb. So I might actually do these again. 